Yes, the drawing I, I drew from was uh, Pisanello's Studies of Hanged Men, a Woman and a Child. I think any opportunity to spend an hour with a single drawing, looking at it and studying it, um, I personally always find that very enjoyable to give something that time. I think once I knew which drawing it was going to be, I'd, I had in my mind this idea that I would um, draw the drawing as it was upside down, so have the Pisanello drawing upside down, so I wasn't um, occupied too much with this sense of the figure hanging, and instead I wanted to just look at the marks that Pisanello made, because that's always what interested me. The marks are quite fluid, so I think it's probably drawn quite quickly, but carefully. There's something very different about going around an exhibition and looking at a drawing, which you, at the most you're going to spend maybe five minutes in front of a drawing. Whereas if you, if you undertake to make a drawing of that drawing, that can become quite sustained. I mean, for an hour to be at the British Museum drawing from this drawing uh, extends the length of time that you're looking and it also records whether you're looking at the whole of the drawing. And I can't think of another process that actually encourages you to do that than making a drawing of it. I mean, if you photograph a drawing, there's no record of which parts your eye has looked at. It's only by drawing it. So that, that activity sustained for an hour meant that I learned a lot about these little marks that Pisanello was making, um, which were probably quite rapid in his drawing. Um, and for me to observe them and reproduce them took quite a long time. But they were very accurate, very, very thin lines. And to understand that, I had to give it the time to make the drawing. And I saw the expression on the child's face as quite shocked and stunned, and I imagined it was something he was thinking about, the kind of faces you might see in the crowd. I think it's a, I think it's a very good way of teaching people to draw because um, I th well, I think one of the main things that happens in drawing is this uh, activity of attention. And I think to have, have somebody else who's drawing, um, particularly from a collection like that, where it's likely to be attentive, I think engages you with, with um, that quality within the original drawing and also encourages you to uh, generate that attentiveness through making your own drawing. Um, so that's one part. I think the other side is you really cannot find another way which uh, encourages you to look carefully at a drawing uh, and also tracks which parts you've looked at and, and, if you like, how carefully you've looked at them.